Do you like my shirt? Do you like the background? It's all a bit different, isn't it? You know why? Because I can. Hello lovely humans, in my last video I said that I would do a Q&A, so you queued and now I'm gonna A them. Let's go. Here's my list of questions. What was the hardest part of my transition, Mac asks. Well Mac, the hardest part of my transition was actually coming out to my workplace, mainly because I had some old school people that weren't so good about it. I was called some terrible things. I was told off for using the men's toilets, so that's a thing. But I don't think we should dwell on what the hardest part is because a lot of it was easy and I'm very privileged to be white and I don't think I can complain a lot. Next question. What have been my favourite changes on tea? My favourite changes on tea is probably my curly hair. What is up with this? This, I don't understand, but it's great, I love it. Look at this, it used to be straight before, what is going on? I mean, a lot of things used to be straight before, but this is just something different. Also, the deep voice. Very much in love with my voice. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what do you do with your free time? Well, I do this. Next question. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Next question. What are some things on my bucket list? Some things on my bucket list are, I want to do that base jumping thing where you jump off a tall building with like a, like a squirrel man suit. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to skydive. I want to jump off a, a bridge at some point. Basically all my things I want to do before I die are near death experiences. That's good, isn't it? Next question. Mac asks, what was my most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment is just too embarrassing. So my most embarrassing moment is actually a time when I peed my pants at work. If you want to hear that story, this video has to get 30 likes. I have a low threshold for my dignity. Next question. Logan asks, how did I choose my name? Well, Logan, I chose my name by sitting down with a pen and a paper, kind of like this. My friend was with me and we had a bag of chips and a block of chocolate and we just wrote down a whole bunch of A names because I wanted to keep my initials and um, we came up with Alfred but not after she suggested Adolf. Moving on. Next question. <laughs> Logan also asks, do I have any middle names? Yes, Evelyn is my middle name. In my opinion, my name is gender neutral. There was a King Evelyn, which I think is cool. I kept it because it's a family name. I wanted to keep it in, in the family. You know, the sentimental shit. Next question. August asks, how old were you when you started hormones? August, I was 22. I'm now 23. Next question. How old do you think you look after one year on tea? I'm a year on tea in two days. Well, write in the comments, how old do you think I look? Just to give you an idea, I did get asked for idea Deadpool at Christmas time, and that's an hour 16. <coughs> Next question. Has your clothing size changed? No, not really. Um, I think I might have gone down one pant size, but that's not justifiable to like buy new clothes. Like I still wear my old clothes. Next question. Not sponsored. It's me. What's the worst reaction someone's had to me being trans? I had a really bad reaction with work, as I said before, but I don't really want to talk about it because it was just really stupid. Like the guy just really didn't want me using the men's toilets, which is just, it's just a toilet. I do have a weird story though, I was telling someone at work that I was getting top surgery and um, that I was trans and then she asked what size I'm getting put on. She thought I was a trans woman. <laughs> Bless her, she was really lovely but just, oh my god. I'm getting them taken off, not put on! Did... Next question. Cha cha cha. Let's just do that back up right away. How do you deal with dysphoria? Well, Odie, as a person who was feeling a lot of dysphoria, I started hormones and I got surgery and I dressed as male and I got a male haircut and I just made my appearance as male as possible. But in the days that are really hard and I still feel uncomfortable within my body, you know what I do? I grab some chocolate and I grab some popcorn and I sit down and I watch some Netflix until it passes. And then we're good. Probably not the best way to solve all my problems. 
And the last question is, Alfie, what are you doing with your life? Well, Alfie, thanks for asking. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section down below and I'll put them in my next video. Follow me on all of the social networks and I will see you all next time. Alfred!